In its almost three decades as a high-end party and wedding venue, owners of the popular bar mansion say they've staged at least 150 benefits, mostly for environmental organizations. So when the historic barn behind the mansion burned during a thunderstorm last month, leaders of those organizations quickly went looking for ways to help. Those efforts will pay off this weekend. But first, Jim Swift brings us the background only on KXAN Austin News. The 112-year-old bar mansion itself was untouched by the fire. But the party barn behind it took a hit to the tune of half a million dollars. Owners Mark and Melanie McAfee arrived in time to see the worst of it. They kept us far away. I kept wanting to, to come closer and, and see hmm. it. And that was hard to, to be held back and, and to see the, the gigantic flames. There was a, certainly a lot of a lot of uh, uh, despair, yeah. <laughs> and etc. It was it was pretty rough seeing that building burn. The building was originally constructed in the Catskill Mountains of New York in 1770, before the birth of this country. When they cut one piece for a barn like this, it fit in one place. They didn't even think about assembly line making piece after piece after piece. Then, 11 years ago, Heritage Barns, a Waco company that scouts out old structures along the East Coast, brought the barn to the McAfee's in pieces and put it back together. The roof is going to be one of the most interesting things about this structure. It's going to be a, a, a thatch roof. The thatcher is coming from London. I remember thinking at the time, thatch roof, central Texas, thunderstorms, lightning. Did that ever cross y'all's minds? Uh, it seems like it should have at this point. And I guess, you know, the old timers knew some things. I, I, I would say if we'd had a lightning rod, that may have been okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Believe it or not, it gets even worse. In the spring of 2005, I attended a wedding here at the Bar Mansion and the reception in that very barn. Everything was great until a massive thunderstorm moved through and a funnel cloud passed directly above the structure. Do you ever just look back and go, dang, this is a snake bed out here? <laughs> Well, you know, if we hadn't had such good luck for so many decades, I might do that. But, uh, but uh, no, it, uh, uh, I'm, I, I, it's just a, 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 a bad hailstorm and a stroke of lightning. So now, Bar Mansion wedding receptions are being held in a state-of-the-art structure tent. And a new old barn, this one dating to the 1830s, is on the way. We're essentially going back as was without the thatched roof. Uh, a lightning rod nevertheless, though. I think we're going to listen to our elders here and, and uh, put, in, put in a lightning rod. The McAfee's hope to have everything put back together by October. Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News. That Bar Mansion fundraiser is planned for 5 to 8 Sunday night at the Texas Disposal System Exotic Game Ranch in nearby Creedmoor. You can get directions and details. Also RSVP to this through some links in this story on the local news page of KXAN.com. A creepy critter is taking over down in 